On question 9, we have calcium chloride dissolved in 500 ml of water and we would like to try to, we would like to find out what is the new freezing point and the new boiling point of the new of the solution. So, we are going to use the the, the formula for the, uh, the the freezing point depression and the boiling point elevation. So, let me just write down right here. Just the freezing point depression and the boiling point elevation is this. Okay. Now we would like to try. We would like to find out the the new freezing point, and the boiling point. So we will have to find out the change. Uh, we have most of the values. We have the I in this case. The I would be. So let's take a look. One, two, three. So the I will be three. The freezing point constant is 1.86 degrees Celsius per molal. But now what is missing is our molality. So we have to calculate the molality first. So we are going to calculate molality here. So again, moles of solute over kilograms of the solvent and we have to find out the moles of solute so you can calculate on your own and you will find out that the uh, number of moles of calcium chloride is 0.625 moles from this mass so we're going to put the moles right here now for the kilograms of solvent, we have 500 mL and the density of water is 1 gram per mL so we have 500 grams, we can convert the 500 grams to kilograms so we have 0.5 kilogram and that's going to give us 1.25 for, uh, for the concentration, for the molality so we can put it here, 1.25 molal. And if we can calculate this, we will find out that the, uh, the change, the change of temperature is this, 6.975 degrees Celsius. And remember, this is just a change. So if you want to find out the new freezing point, we have to subtract from the original. So the original is 0 degrees Celsius, this is something that we should know for water. And we subtract. Six point nine seven five. Now you may ask, how do we know when we need to subtract or add? Well, just understand the term freezing point depression. We are trying to depress the freezing point. So it gotta be lower. It has to be lower. So this is why we Subtract and the new freezing point is negative 6.975 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then we can look at the uh, boiling point elevation. It's very similar. The Venthal factor is 3, the boiling point elevation constant is 0.512 unit degree Celsius per molar. And then molality is 1.25 molar. Calculate it, you will find out that the change of temperature is 1.92 degrees Celsius. Now again, this is just the change. So the new boiling point is going to be 100 degrees Celsius now in this case, we are talking about the boiling point elevation. We elevate the boiling point. So add 100 degrees Celsius plus 1.92 degrees Celsius. So we have 101.92 degrees Celsius. So this will be our new boiling point. This will be our new freezing point. So again, molality is very critical to calculate the new freezing point and boiling point. And make sure you know how to apply the equation and you will be fine.